Yo, 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 what's up, man? It's D-Mal. You now rocking with TQ Vision. And this is my personal interview from me to you. Bipolar. You know, um, being bipolar is something that I really don't quite agree with. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't feel like Anything's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with me. Something's right within me. And in this nation, they don't allow you to be but so free. Even even vocally. Because what ends up happening is, is that you learn some real deep shit. And you try to spread that knowledge to people. And once it causes some type of uproar or a problem, they try to pinpoint who started it. And they try to reprimand them. And say... You can't do that shit no more. Here, throw you in a fucking cell and give you three three meals a day, which ain't shit. Which ain't shit. They give, they give you little slices of ham and shit. It's nothing. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? But being bipolar is like, I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's like knowing who God is and nobody else does. It's like meeting God and Jesus, but... In a secluded hospital where others can't be affected by your journey. You feel what I'm saying? Bipolar is not a disorder to me. Bipolar is a state of consciousness. You really feel what I'm saying? It's a state of consciousness. It's actually knowing who God is. When I became bipolar, it was me on a journey of finding who God really is. Like we were talking about masonry. I'm trying to separate who is who, what is what, who is good and who is evil. You know, by the time I got diagnosed, I realized that Jesus walks this earth. And I'm going to leave it at that because y'all going to take me to another level. And I'm going to have to do time over this fucking interview. So I'm going to leave it at that. And whoever feels me, feel me. Feel free to comment and do whatever you got to do. Man, I love talking about this shit. But I can't let the world know everything because then I get penalized for it. And I, you know what I mean? I'm like Martin Luther. I die over this shit. That's why I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. I don't really compare myself to nobody, my nigga. I'm number one. I'm like Hove. You know what I'm saying? Stretch the game out. X your name out. Put Danny on top. And drop albums non-stop. That's, I mean, nigga. I, I'm a product of who was before me. You know what I mean? The niggas before me didn't show much respect to cats of my age. You know what I'm saying? It was always a battle. It was never like, yo, I see you, young nigga. Come here. Let me let me show you everything I fucking know. Nah, it ain't like that. You know what I mean? Now, they using this Illuminati shit to suppress the youth and to confuse the elders. You know what I mean? But as far as if I could compare myself to anybody or... Who are my peers in this music shit? I would say Rhapsody, one. You know what I mean? Two, Cole. You feel me? Um, I fuck with Drake, but I don't really fuck with that nigga, man. He too close to me. He too close to what I've been doing for years. I'm, I feel cookie cutter. You know what I'm saying? I told the nigga straight up, bro. Lay the murder game down, nigga. Like, you, you, I just can't. I just can't. You know what I mean? But other than that, Big Shine, Wiz, you know what I mean? People like that, that's my age that I actually have seen in real life. And we've made moves <clears throat> towards being great together. We may not always be on tracks together, you know what I mean? But we represent the same struggle. We dealing with the same billboard chart, you know what I mean? It's like if Jay's on top. And me, Cole, and Big Sean is under that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all fighting for that number one spot. But we boys, you know what I'm saying? These my niggas. I don't talk to them all the time. I mean, I just just met these niggas, really, not too long ago. But, you know, I really don't compare myself to nobody because that's the only way you're going to continue to be. The only way somebody's going to consider you number one is if you put that inside yourself. And you got to believe that you're number one. Period. Fuck everybody else. Ain't nobody else paying your bills. Ain't nobody else texting you, calling your fucking phone, trying to do shit. 
So fuck everybody. You know what I mean? Period. 